I agree all uh, what you are saying about guidelines. No, uh, we used to say it. Uh, I remember many years ago. We are working on guidelines. We do guidelines, but the guidelines adhere to don't follow them. I mean, to don't follow them in case you don't uh, need them really or so. The problem is that we are a very structured or health organization, and uh, our heads. Uh, they say to us, you must follow the guidelines. And it's very difficult to explain. If the guidelines say you must do this, you, uh, it's very difficult for the ordinary doctors to show, to choose another way. This, uh, and sometimes I think we have lost the power to do really what we think is the best for the um, patient or for his or her family. We are doing mostly what the guidelines say. This is the thing. And now it's very difficult to change this because the guidelines are supposed to be the, the uh, God, you know. Uh, if you have this, this. Uh, if you are pregnant, this. If you are uh, this, you know. And now we are too much uh, put on. Yeah, absolutely. And this, this, you put your finger absolutely on the problem. And this is the burden for young doctors. This is, they are, we have made you afraid of not following the guideline, which is a disaster. And I tell you, when I am very old, I want a doctor to think about me, not just to follow a guideline. So if you just follow the guideline, I will come back as a ghost and haunt you. Um, <laughs> Uh, because textbooks were great because they're great big fat things and no hospital manager is ever going to read their way through a textbook. Guidelines were a serious mistake in terms of how short they are and they have a summary. So it's really easy for somebody who knows nothing about anything to read it and think that doctor has done the wrong thing. Like, I mean, we, again, we had a presentation earlier today that was very much along the lines of, I know best, you must do what I say. Um, so, but if we just give up and don't fight this and don't uh, be prepared to help young doctors who don't want to follow a particular guideline for a particular reason to articulate that and to record it in the notes, because that's where your defense is, is in what you write down, and to write down the reason. I mean, not just to, to just not follow it because you can't be bothered to find out what it says, <coughs> um, which I might have done in my day, but to, to have a reasoned understanding of why it is not appropriate and to record it, uh, but to think about it. Um, be, because the defense should be there. There's the research that shows that no human being can read all the guidelines that are available um, in a professional lifetime. So, so, you know, you can't be expected to follow everything when you can't have read it um, because there are so many of them. It's, it's another crazy thing that we've done. You know, there's another thing people will look back on and think this is crazy. <laughs>